everyone, Michael here. Welcome back to another episode of Michael Minds the Beast. Um, so we are here in front of my full biomass tank. Um, I'm now off the grid, which I actually, I don't know what happened. The grid is actually gone now. Um, I could show you. But like, let me open this up. In this one. But like, all the pipes that were running. Oh, what the heck? Get rid of that one. All the pipes that were running down these are all gone, so I don't know what happened. And, uh, so there's no biomass coming into the bases anymore. So I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> uh, I don't know if he's replacing it with liquid duct or what. Either way, whatever. Um... We're now independent. Now you're like, oh, what's going on? I haven't been watching any of your live streams. Um, I guess I should start from there. Um, the reason I haven't been doing very any episodes last week, except UHC, um, I was out of town getting a new job, which I got. Yay! And uh, on Saturday, I did a very long stream where I played Feed the Beast for a bit of it. I played some other things as well. And one of the things is I started on the new project. So let me get this on, and I'll go show you the new project for those of you that haven't watched the live streams. The reason I had this off, by the way, is because there's a slow leak, and I couldn't figure out where it was at. But I turned those on because all these engines are empty, so I need to fill them back up again. Get everything filled back up again and going. Um, so there's the biomass tank level. So if we head on over to the Red Rock base here and we head down here, there's a new building. It's not fully loaded yet. There it comes. So this is what's been worked on over the last uh, few live streams and not on a live stream. I've been doing some tweaking as well. Um, so if you've been watching the live streams, you have seen this in progress. If not, well, let's do a quick tour of it. And so basically what i got going on is, let's show you the farms. I've got four tree farms and one wheat farm going on. Um, the wheat farm is so I can make dirt to replace this. Fortunately, the wheat farm isn't keeping up, um, making dirt fast enough. So I'm going to add on to that. Um, we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, and then this one was just a tree farm but now I have switched it and I put in a integrated circuit with orchard so that all it's doing now oh it needs fertilizer okay um, all it's doing now is it's getting the apples from the trees without cutting the trees down I'm not sure how it does that but um, anyways we need this fertilizer to work it and I have to come up with a way to automatically fertilize these yet uh, refill their fertilizer there they go Ooh, look at it go. I don't know if we got any apples or not. Well, I got one apple. I don't I don't know how efficient that is. Anyway, so what happens is uh, all these farms, all their produce goes and feeds into these gold pipes right here. Um, so things come out, there's the apple, goes down, all these gold pipes lead down and we'll ignore the lower ones right now. All of them, and this one feeds over, and this one as well, feeds over, and they all go over into this chest right here. Which right now, oh, it's sorting. And we got a sorting machine. Uh, so we produce oak wood, apple, sand, apple oak sapling, seeds, and wheat. And we'll produce uh, reeds here in a bit once I get there. Um, and then everything gets sorted into their barrels. Uh, wheat and and seeds go in here to make plant bowls. Uh, so they go into these auto crafting tables. As soon as you get a full one, it makes a plant ball. And a plant ball goes into the pulverizer, makes dirt. Dirt gets fed into the pneumatic tubes. Like the same thing here where, uh, where wheat goes in here. Make a full thing of wheat. Makes a plant ball. See, it's already moving over. Plant ball will show up in here. Um... Here in a second. There it goes. Well, you don't really see it, but... And it's pulverizing. And when it pulverizes, it turns into dirt. And there goes the dirt. 
Um, unfortunately, wheat and seeds are not producing fast enough to produce dirt to keep up with the demand for dirt, um, which is needed for the trees. Um, saplings come in here. Uh, the, the sand, which nothing happens to the sand. Saplings come in here. Saplings then go over and feed into the fermenters, which are here, saplings. Uh, wood goes in here, and got a ton of oak wood. I don't know what to do with oak wood yet. I could turn it into, um, charcoal and use it to fuel things. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll figure that out here soon. Apples come into this one, then feed into two different squeezers. Um, the two different squeezers, let's see if we can show one of them. Here we go, this one's in progress. Um, it squeezes the apple, it makes apple juice and mulch. You can see the mulch is going to come up this, there, whatever, <laughs> it's there. Uh, apple juice goes into this tank, so this is, this tank's got apple juice in it. Look at it. Um, apple juice feeds over into one of these fermenters. Um, I had it going into these two, but then I changed it up. Problem is, these, it <laughs> uses up apple juice faster than I can make it. Um, and apple juice increases how much biomass you get from a sapling. So this thing actually produces more, um, than these guys do, which is interesting. But these guys are fed water, because water I can feed infinitely. No problem, whereas apple juice, I have a limited supply. For some reason, not all drops get picked up by the farm. I don't know if that's design or or a bug or what um, oh I had a bunch of apples for some reason um, so this is the power plant for it I feed it with eight biomass engines um, the reason eight is because they can barely keep up I mean just barely actually I don't think they can keep up so even eight can't run all this machinery um, eight uh, you know, got lava, lava, and bio tesseracts. Um, this is an energy tesseract, but I actually have it uh, disabled by redstone signal, so it shouldn't be feeding out. But it's just in case I need to feed out to those. Um, otherwise, everything goes into these redstone conduits that feeds to everything, all the machinery. And then, let's see, so we got pneumatic tubes, pneumatic tubes feed back in. They actually have to go into the north part of the farm we found out during the live stream. Um, so these all feed in, and some of these actually have like two hatches, and one of them is so I can have um, one on the north part and feed in by pneumatic tube. We got water feeding to everything, which is coming in by this liquid tesseract, which is feeding out from my water tank back at spawn. And then we've got, so I've already shown what that one does. We've got, okay, this one's for the mulch. So mulch is in here. I'm feeding the mulch. The mulch feeds in and comes, that comes from the apples, remember. And that feeds into these fermenters as the fuel for the fermenters. Um, oh, and these are for the saplings. So saplings are what get fermented. Extra saplings. Um... These gates are set to fuels less than 25%. Send a signal and it pumps out of these um, barrels. So, and then feeds in mulch as needed. Um, all right. And then I think that's all I got. So you got mulch flying through. We've got saplings. Where I'll do all the extra stuff coming through. Um. So, what I need to do, and the reason I've got this gold pipe feeding up here, this is actually not coming from anywhere right now. And, oops, let me run back over here. This, the reason I went with a diamond chest is just in case this gets backed up, because this does fill up fast. Um, items are coming in, like, constantly. Like, there's always, once this thing gets going, there's just a constant stream of items coming in. From the farms up above and we can go up and take a look at these um, unfortunately there's a few problems one like I said dirt is a problem and fertilizer is a problem 
Now the fertilizer isn't that bad, but what happens, let's grab a couple stacks of sand. And I mean, fertilizer actually isn't that bad of a problem. It's just, it's not an unlimited resource. Give me, thank you. And it has to be this fertilizer. It cannot be any other. So it has to be, who is on? It's just me. Am I really lagging this bad? Or what's going on? Um, I know there's some issues with the vanilla server memory leaking right now too, which is causing some he heartache. Everyone, it's everyone's thinking it's Feed the Beast. Well, Feed the Beast has some issues, but we're thinking vanilla is causing some issues too. Believe it or not. Um, all right. So sand, sand, and appetite that gets you eight stacks. You know, a stack of appetite and two stacks of sand gets you eight stacks of fertilizer. Um, so I can automatically feed that out and maybe into the pneumatic tubes, I'm thinking. If I feed them into this, I could probably do that. So I might set up a system like that to feed in and that'll keep, I don't know what, the problem is, is what rate because, uh, I have to like, keep this down. I don't know if I need to set a timer to it or what, because I don't want to have a bunch of fertilizer pl plugging up the system. Unless I put like, uh, I don't know, chest full of fertilizer. I don't know. Or, or, uh, hoppers with fertilizer on top. Could do that. Fill them with fertilizer and just make sure they're full of fertilizer. But again, that gets rid of the automation and makes it a manual system. And I'd like to have this automated. See, isn't that weird? I don't know what it's doing. The leaves don't go anywhere, but at some sometimes it gets apples. Just don't know what it's doing. It's so weird. Um <laughs> Let's see, so fermenters so I ran through all that. So, dirt problem. We need to take care of that. The way I'm going to take care of that is I made an integrate, integrate, integrate circuit board for all reeds. And what I was going to do is we need... Um, what do we need? I have to, because NEI doesn't show the recipes, I have to keep the farm stuff. So we're going to need tin. But we're going to need... I'm going to make the very large farm of all reeds. And I need to set water in a way that reeds will have water on all sides. So, graphical interface. What the heck is that for? Uh, oh, that's for carts. Okay. So, 5x5x4 five by five by will give us 180 farm blocks. Or no, 100, 100 farm blocks. 180 farmland. I don't know what that means. Oh no, we we need a hundred farm blocks. Really? And it gives us 180 farm land. So five times five times four. Yep, hundred. So we're gonna need a hundred tin electron tubes. So it's twenty-five. I don't wait, divide by five. And we divide by four times five. That's 125 tin. Okay. Maths with Michael. And we need to decide what we're going to build it out of. I did the other ones out of stone brick. But, oh, come on. Just it, what I'm recording is when it decides to be an issue. I was fine earlier. I don't know what they're, what's going on. Um, all right. Don't know. Um, okay, what item? So we can make it out of any brick, including like smooth sandstone, which maybe I'll make it out of smooth sandstone. Um, Chiseled stone bricks, cracked stone bricks, mossy stone bricks, 
bricks, chiseled sandstone, smooth sandstone, never nether bricks. Um, this is what it can be made out of. So any of the brick, like nether brick, but I can, or you know, stone brick or cracked stone brick or mossy stone brick or chiseled stone brick. I don't think it counts these items, basalt bricks or stuff. But it does do nether bricks. But I'm thinking chisel or smooth sandstone. Yeah, smooth sandstone, not regular sandstone. Has to be smooth or chiseled. So let's do it out of smooth. And let's get rid of some extra things here. Let's put this stuff in here. That and that. Extra intricate circuit board. Oh, we got sand on me. Let's get rid of the sand and the bones. Okay. Put this stuff away for now. All right. Um. I want to get a little on me. That's fine. Okay, so we got two stacks of sandstone, so that gives me 128. We need 100 total, which is fine. And then we need... How much? 10? Because that's 10, yeah. Uh, divided by... 125. Divided by 64. So almost two stacks of 10. Wow, I'm getting low on 10. Uh-oh. Uh, roll raggy. I'm gonna need to find ten. I might have to get my turtle busy again. I'm out of almost everything. Believe it or not, I'm running out of resources. It's crazy. Yeah, I know, cow. It's crazy. Um, I should grab my sand back. Or I could have grabbed sand from the other side, I guess. Oh, over at the red rock base. Beautiful little uh, portal crash there. Always enjoy those. So I need a thermometer fabricator. And then we need to do 10. And we'll put those there. And redstone. All right. I don't know how much sand we need. Guess we need more than that. So we need a hundred of these. So that's sixty-four. Stay in there. Hundred minus sixty-four. Whoops. Plus thirty-six. Eight. Sixteen. Twenty. Two through thirty-six. Nice. All right. And then I can shut this off because this doesn't need to be keep running power. Drain my bio. All right. So that gets me those. Let's now. We need copper. Um. Crap. We need more copper than that. Oh, copper and copper. I need to reorganize this chest because I've got crap in i got 30 iridium ingots in here. Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> Electrum, advanced alloys. Uh, I need to go th back through these. Um, Alright. Copper. What else do I need? And wood half slab. So oh, i got plenty of wood. So let's grab a stack of wood. Eh, two stacks of wood. Why not? And there's saplings all over the place. Messy factory. I need to fix lighting in here too. I get monsters. One thing I did learn, though, is this construction foam. That's what this floor is made out of. Construction foam. Um, it's impervious to creeper damage. I had a creeper blow up on me. 
And didn't do any damage to the floor. R ruined a couple pipes up above, but that was it. So, mm, nice car driving by. But like over here, I've got no light. Alright, so let's make some half slabs. That's plenty of half slabs, I think. And then it takes smooth or it takes a sandstone or whatever I want the farm block to be out of. And then copper and copper. And there you go. So there's the first 64 farm blocks. Smooth sand blown. Stone yeah, stone. I need more copper. 36, yeah, I need need another stack. Uh, at least another stack of copper. Good news is I got plenty back at home, but man, what am I gonna do about tin? What can we do to make tin? I knew there was a way. Was it with uh with lava to make tin? Uh, maybe it's this one. Uh, do, do. All that industrial centrifuge. So lava does get you tin. Two tin per sixteen lava, electrum and copper, and then tungsten. So I might have to get some. It's a five hundred second. Okay. I might have to get some lava centrifuge again, like I had over here before. So let's do that real quick. Let's see. I had a liquid. Tesseract right there. Put that there. Uh, private. Receive only. Lava out. Go. And shut off the power to it. There you go. So now I'll let this thing go for a little while. Once it gets up to 16, it should start spinning. There it goes. And then once it spins, it'll come out here and it'll keep filling here. And I'll get my electrum and stuff filling back up again. Well, I got plenty of electrum, but... Everything else. Tin and copper I definitely need. Um, alright, copper, there's none in there. I don't think there's anything in any of these that I can use. I really badly need to resort these out. This crap is just a mess. Open. So let's head back over here. Those portals definitely get cut down with uh, travel time. So let's do that, and then let's make another set of these. There you go. Okay. There are my hundred farm blocks. And now we need to make... Crap, I need ten. Because I need to make ten gears. We need to make one hatch. One valve. Because we're going to need... Are we going to need water? Do we need water for a managed... For an unmanaged farm? I don't remember. Does it need... F weed farm... It does actually need fertilizer. Ugh. Okay. Oh, by the way, to make reed farms takes diamond. There's a diamond or whatever it's called. Tubes. There it is. Takes these guys to make <laughs> to make reed or put reeds on a on a circuit board. It takes four of them, which luckily you can make four with five diamonds. So it actually costs five diamonds. But that's what it takes. If you need, um, ftbwiki.org slash multifarms is where I'm getting all my information on multifarms. And it shows what's required to put on the circuits and everything to make fr farms of certain whatevers. <laughs> Whatever is a good term, right? Um, gosh, I wish. Well, there's five tin here make use of that there's another tin silver I can't believe I'm so low on tin tin electron teams tin plates platinum <laughs> I guess there is tin in platinum platinum 
do have a tin ore. Sort tin machine. Things that have the word tin in them, it's funny. All right, um, dang it. Well, and that, well, let's use up the rest of these. How many we got left, 27? I hate when the words cover up the number. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, just want to leave one in there for sorting purposes. Look at that. even my iron is down. Gold is good. Man, I've been doing too much, building too elaborate of projects. That was weird. All right, <laughs> I saw something. I must still be in UHC mode, and I'm thinking I'm seeing names or something. Which, by the way, UHC is kicking ass, isn't it, this season? Not going to ruin anything or do any spoilers, but kicking ass. Kicking ass and taking names. Having fun, that's for sure. All right, uh, gears. Oh, so basically what I'm doing now is down here, I dug this all out. All the way down to bedrock. I used a filler. By the way, I didn't dig it all in my hand. Um, <laughs> by the way, people were asking in the live stream what these were. This is from the turtle. This is how the turtle does his mining, my turtle. Is he, uh, he'll skip and then he'll find see these little spots he's dug out. That's when he finds an ore. And he digs those out. And uh, that's how he works. As he keeps doing that. But we're going to put down here the reed farm. At some point. Um, I need to make some things though. Um, Actually, let's do this. We need to come down a few. And we need to find center. Um... Actually, there's a center. There's, there's no center because it's an even number, which kind of throws a wrench in us a little bit. But we do need we need torches. So let's grab and let's make a whole lot of torches. Cause you know what? Why not? Torches, all sorts of torches, torches for me, millions of torches, torches for free. All right, and we need to light that up good, and we need to light the trees up a little bit better too, because I get mob spawning in here. Some of these guys. Put them like there, like there, like there, and like there. Oops. Whoops. It's okay, it'll fix it. Maybe. Why isn't it fixing it? Probably needs soil to fix it. Um. Okay. Apparently I can't get down there. Go there. And there, and there, and there. All right. Do you need soil in your thing? Darn it, I don't have any soil. Does this guy have any soil? Nope. Does this guy have any soil? Negative. I'm guessing this guy doesn't either, since his plot is almost entirely sand. <sighs> soil production. It's terrible. All right, um, so we're gonna come back down here. And we need to kind of try to find somewhat center. So let's do this, let's guesstimate center. Center looks to be about here. All right. We'll come down three. 
Yeah, let's make it four. And then this needs to be... What is it? Where is it? Five by five by four. So four tall. So one, two, three, four. And then five by five. So one, two, like that. Except, here's my problem. Let's do the rest. Except on top, I need to put in my valves and, and whatnot I'm going to use. And I think we're going to need glowstone too. Man, this takes a lot of blocks. But this farm should be huge. So that's five. No, okay. So just need to add one more here. Right there. And a torch. And a torch. We can take these down. Okay. Alright. Hopefully I got enough room for all this. We'll figure it out. And then... I might need a lot more smooth sandstone, I think. We need to make a few things. We need to make some tin gears. Let's see what I got over here. Put some light in this corner. Um, I tried, you know, the, well, the reason I got all, well, first of all, scaffolding is needed for doing the spray foam, which is pretty cool. So, but I ended up with a lot of scaffolding because you get the scaffolding back. Aluminum blocks are needed for, uh, or I was gonna try to make the floor out of aluminum blocks, but I didn't, ended up not having enough. So I was like, darn it. And then that uses this aluminum. Um, so I was like, darn it. And here's the, spray, the sprayer in the backpack for it, for the sprayer. Let's see, I have gears, I thought. I thought I had gears. And then these blocks are blocks of concrete, which require rebar to be made. But here's an extra block of concrete. I don't know where my rebar went. I think I used it all. All right, I do need a trap door. There's brass here. I hate when those are in the way. Um, all right, there we go, wood gears. So let's put stuff all the way and how many gears do I need I need a hatch which requires two gears two tin gears um, and then we need a valve So we need a gearbox. No, we don't. Yeah, we need a gearbox because that's how you power it, and that requires three tin gears, um, a hatch, and a valve. So it's three. I need six tin tin gears in total. Oops. Right, and we need to make these stone first. Here's stone. Hopefully enough. Good enough for me. And then we need to make them tin. Sometimes it makes the next thing it can. I don't know. Whatever. Um, Alright. So like this. And one of these gives us a gearbox. Which is needed for powering. One of these, one of these, and two of these gives us a hatch, which is for taking and adding items. And then we need glass. And we just need two pieces. Okay. And then, 
one gear, two pieces of glass gives us a valve, which allows us to add water to the system. All right. And then we need the rest. All right, so gearbox, let's see where we're going to get power from. Let's bring power down. Actually, we should probably bring power down from here. Bring it over. So we'll do that. Power comes from there. Water can come from underneath here. Um, how are we going to do that? Let's just mark it. 1912, 2, uh, 229. 1912, 229. Ow! Moms are a pain. 1912, 229, right here. Ta-da! Okay. Water comes in there. And yeah, I need to build up walls at some point. So water, or not hatch, a valve can go right here. Hatch, or gearbox. Can go here. And then I guess the hatch will feed in, and it needs to be on the north side. So this is the west side, south. Ugh, really? North is over here. Uh, okay. North side. Fill it in. Fill it the rest of the way in. Alright, perfect. And then it should put a band around it. Put a band around it. There we go. So now that there's a band around it, you can right-click on it, and it's a farm! Yay! Then we add the intricate circuit board into the empty socket, and now it's a reed farm. That requires water and fertilizer. All right, so we're getting there. Now we, the next thing we need to do is we need to make the uh, little platform for the reeds. But first, we need to run power and water in, in an outlet to it. Okay. So let's get liquid duct, let's get redstone energy conduit, and let's get golden transport pipes. And I'm probably gonna need more liquid duct, but we'll find out. So valve here, we'll uh, start here, we'll go straight up. with it, and then over, oh, come on, connect, there you go, oh, please have enough liquid duct, just barely enough. There we go. Feed water in. Awesome. And there we go. We got water. So wheat. Okay. Now power. Same thing. I'll come up with it. The reason I'm going straight up is I want to give as much room as possible for reed production and stuff. Bring power over. I know I got enough of these. No, no! Ugh. Creeper ruining my day. I need to finish lighting this stuff up. An apple.
Okay. Connect there. Hit that with a wrench because we're coming out with power. And now we should be powered, which won't be obvious until we get the things going. Okay. Redstone energy we're done with. Torches. We need a torch here, and a torch there, and a torch there. Sure, let's go overboard with torches. And finally, golden transport pipe, which is going to be its own problem. Dang it, no high creeper. Let's bring it up here. The reason it's going to be a problem is, is I got to go around that redstone energy conduit, which will do like this. Then we'll go straight over, and I know my jetpack is getting low. Go away. Okay. Then you're thinking, why are you doing it in all gold pipe? Well, because I can. Because I have a ton of gold. Um, alright. Hmm. So now that's all feeding. So the next thing I need to do now is the boring part. <laughs> which is the laying out the land. Which I'm going to need a lot more smooth sandstone for. Um, and we're going to need some glow stone. Let's see, let's get rid of everything. I won't need for now. Yeah, I'm gonna put an apple in there, I guess. So I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna cut for a bit. I'm gonna charge up. I'm gonna head and uh is that an apple right here? It is. Keep apples going. Those are important. Um so I'm gonna head back, recharge and get uh, smooth sandstone blocks that I can lay down and lay down the farm area where it needs to be and then we'll get I guess we gotta decide is it gonna be soil or is it gonna be sand for the reeds probably sand I got a lot of sand not much soil so we'll be right back all right we're back <laughs> got the uh, here's the farm bed laid out I thought it'd be bigger but I guess whatever Whatever works. Um, it's not doing anything yet. I think it needs it needs fertilizer yet, so let's give it some fertilizer. We need to make some more fertilizer anyways, and zombie inside again. We need to do something about them. Let's make some more fertilizer quick here. See? One stack of appetite makes a lot of fertilizer and two stacks of sand, but just feeding it all in and that it's not an unlimited supply. But there you go. Fertilizer. It's not what is it is it going? I don't know what it needs. I don't know if that makes it grow any faster or what, but I ran out of reeds, that's why I don't have more planted. Once I get some more reeds grown. Um, and then I'll be able to, uh, plant more. But I don't know if they got to be three high. Probably got to be three high for it to harvest them. Um, I was trying to find an efficient design for putting them down, but it looks like the checkered board pattern is the only way to do it. Um, because of the way this diamond shape. Um, I know if it's a square sheep, there's other ways to do it that's a little more efficient. Don't need as many water blocks, but um, as far as I could tell, this is the best design. Um, I mean, there's probably a better design. I just couldn't come up with it. So, did it make read already? Make read. So, 
So, I guess we'll just have to sit here and let this thing work. Do its thing, and maybe we'll f start getting some reeds going. And then, what I'll do is I'll feed reeds, or the reeds will come up into this chest here. There's no reeds yet. Um, I accidentally broke out this block, which sucks, because now i got to redo it. But, oh, what's this got? Oh, there it goes. I think I hope these... The sorting machine doesn't have something stuck in it. But it should only be sorting what it can and shouldn't be grabbing anything else, so. Oh, my apple juice is getting low. Well, that sucks. The good news is biomass is capped out and staying capped out. But. We're gonna run out of saplings really soon. Um, because we're running out of soil. To feed into it. So, hmm. hopefully the reed farm gets moving fast. Apples. Go there where you belong. We need reeds to go. But I think that's going to do it for today. Um, so we almost have this thing pretty well. It's just the, the fertilizer issue. But oh, reeds are starting to grow. Grow up. I don't know if they're using... I don't know what the fertilizer is for even. Because it's in manual farm. So it doesn't plant anything automatically. So, it just does, as far as I know. Lay out your farmland. Mm-hmm-hmm. 202% hydration required. But yeah, I use smooth sandstone, and there's the underside. And I got glowstone hovering at certain spots above the water. And I could probably do glowstone around the edges, but I think we're good. Actually, going around the edges might be better than having the floating ones. Die. But I think this is enough for today. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, and... Uh, Hopefully soon I'll have a lot more reeds I can plant. I know I can get some more from uh, Pack Rats Bio Farm, so I might do that to get them moving faster. But And then we'll start turning reeds into dirt. Because you can do that. It's amazing. So I'll show you. Plant ball. If you take reed or sugar cane, and put them in eight, and it works even better with saplings, but... Um, put them in eight. I'm using saplings for, uh, first, for bio. But, uh, put them eight, you get plant ball. And if you take a plant ball and you macerate it or pulverize it, you get dirt. Yay. But that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching and see y'all next time.